Yes, Deborah. Now I've still got time. I'll be on the stage when I need to. Yeah, yeah, don't you worry. Bitch. Huh? Who's there? So, you found me my little hiding place. Only bit of peace I can get. <sighs> but I suppose your efforts should be rewarded. So, where do you want me to sign? What? Oh, uh, you don't want a signature? No. Oh, oh well, that's a first. Wait, do you even know who I am? Right, I see. That's nice. Being spoken to like a normal person for once. So, who is your favourite singer? Seriously? That bitch? <clears throat> I mean, interesting. We all have our own tastes, I suppose. What are you doing back here, anyway? What do you mean, what am I doing back here? I asked first. So you work here, do you? Just trying to take out the trash. Fair enough. What do you mean, will I just let you get on with it? <laughs> Ouch. Quite the prickly personality, I see. Wait, wait, just hang on. There's no need to be in a rush. Do you really not know who I am? Well, I thought my ego wasn't so fragile. Yet I feel it cracking. <laughs> anyway, um, stay for a bit, would you? I like your company. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just a bit nervous. In a few minutes I'll be performing. What if... What if I mess up? Well, I mean, I've done this loads of times. Nothing bad has ever happened. But what if this time is different? As a kid, it was my dream to take the big stage and perform to the world. To be loved. But... As Thanos said, reality is often disappointing. No one really loves me. My agents, they just want to use me for profit. And once my time is up, they'll fight tooth and claw over the next person who shows any promise. Fans, well, they don't really know me. So how can they love me? And my actual loved ones? They don't want cameras in their face all the time. Uh, and I get that. So... What are your dreams? What are your ambitions? Yeah, I know. I hate being asked those questions. And you don't even know me. <laughs> uh, how about boba tea? Have you tried it? Do you like it? I've got a matcha one right here. Want to taste? <laughs> yeah, I know. Covid and whatnot. You know, 
I drink these so rarely that I forget what flavors I actually like. The matcha one is... meh. I always thought matcha was prettier than it tastes. <laughs> you know, what the heck am I even talking about a boba tea with you for? <laughs> hmm. You know, for someone whose life is all about music, I sure do love the sound of silence. You're pretty quiet, aren't you? Or do you just find me annoying? <laughs> All right then, mysterious character. I'm invested in you now. Something tells me you're a dog person. <laughs> well, that's generally a good icebreaker, because statistically, most people seem to like dogs in one way or another. <laughs> Have you visited other countries, or is there anywhere in particular you really want to go to? Oh really? I've been there. Yeah, it's really nice there. Yeah. I do a fair bit of touring. In fact, I'm going to Japan in two weeks. I have a question for you. Is there anything you can tell me about Japan? There's a lot of stuff there I want to try, but I've never been. Hmm, when I go there with me? <laughs> yeah, never go anywhere with a stranger you just met. <laughs> hmm. So, be honest. You didn't know me before today, so since you saw me, what were your first impressions? Really? Well, I appreciate your honesty. More than I can expect from everyone else. All trying to tell me what they think I want to hear. To get to my good books. And my so-called friends are the fakest people ever. They all chat shit about me behind my back. But you know, I'm over it. The question is, do I carry on doing this forever? Do I settle down somewhere along the way? Do I get kidnapped by a crazy fan? You're not secretly a crazy fan, are you? <laughs> mm, I see you subtly looking at the time, but not subtly enough. Are you in a hurry? Your boss is expecting you back. Well, being the lovable person I am, I'm sure I can sweet talk them into letting you off the hook. After all, I tripped and fell and you found me here, didn't you? And if you didn't come to my rescue, tonight's show would be off and your boss wouldn't be happy with that, would he? <laughs> uh, I know, I have an idea. I carry a sachet of fake blood. I can put that on my leg and you can take a photo and show it to your boss. I guess you're wondering why I carry a sachet of fake blood, aren't you? <laughs> well, uh, you know the sick excuse. When people see BA to go to work, so they call in like, <coughs> I'm sick and I can't come in. Yeah? And you know how everyone else knows they're chatting shit? Well, with a bit of fake blood, my excuse becomes a bit more... real, if you get me. People don't question a bit of red liquid. So, do you want to give it a go? 
go on. Do it. There we go. I'm a bad influence, aren't I? <laughs> now, I'm just going to roll up and expose my calf. And add some of this, like that. Okay. Ready to record. And action. Ah, my leg. I can't go on. I'm sorry, beautiful fans. But wait, could this be? A good Samaritan, come to rescue me. Oh, thank you, you kind, kind person. You saved the show. And cut. That's a wrap, people. Huh. You know, I should have become an actor, not a singer. <laughs> um, where's my Oscar? Well, I think I can walk. Oh, it's Debbie. Nah, 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 it's my phone. It's a banger, isn't it? <laughs> I don't even want to answer it. Love vibing to this. Fine. Fine. Debbie, how are you? It's my agent. You got any of that blood left? <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, I fell. I needed rescuing. But don't you worry, I'm fine now. Yes, Deborah, I'm coming. Jeez, a simple please would go a long way, you know. And she hung up on me. <laughs> yep, well, that's who works for me. Though I'm pretty sure I work for her, based on our relationship. <laughs> yeah, she hates me, but I think you can see why. <laughs> well... I should probably head off now. I should be on stage performing. Hey, why don't you take the night off and let me treat you to a front row seat? You never know. I might break my leg and need someone to fix me. <laughs> okay, fine. You've got a good work ethic. I'll give you that. Well, uh, you know, I guess this is goodbye, for now, unless you want to meet up again, I don't know, over a coffee, drink, or whatever. Yeah? Well, let me give you my number, although you must promise not to give it to anyone, right? There we are. Well, um, call me, or drop me a text, if you want. Please. I, um, kinda like you. No one has made me feel like a normal person for a long time. <laughs> and one last thing. Thank you for listening to me ramble. It really did calm my nerves. Oh, she cannot leave me alone, can she? Hang up. That's what you get for hanging up on me. <laughs> yeah, anyway. It's showtime. Let's hit some high notes. <laughs> <laughs>